Unfucking believable. Well, hell, that's the way to do it. <laughs>Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do Horde 98. And uh, depending upon how our time goes, uh, after that, we might uh, see if we can go do another uh, POI. I don't know that I'll show the whole Horde night. I, I cut the last one. Uh, I cut a lot out of the last one just because it's kind of getting to be more of the same thing. The main difference, though, is that we are getting uh, more super monsters come in, and that is a concern for sure. Uh, so we'll see how things go. But the first thing we want to do is run over to our original base here and reset our uh, bedroll. And then we have a little bit of repairing and upgrading to do in the base itself. Uh, as I've mentioned to you guys before, it's not my intention to use this base for the entire rest of the playthrough. Um, we should probably just clear this roof too. Um, because... Oh, we got two bedrolls. Here, we'll pick that one up too. I've got... Oh, I've got a whole bunch of lead in there. All right. He dropped a bag for us. Yeah, I don't want to spawn up here in the middle of the night and get jumped by all these nasties here, of course. Oh, we left some insects there, too. All right, well, I'll, I might grab that later. We're not really needing to eat insects now. We're, <laughs> we're in pretty good shape for food. Uh, let's check this bag. I'll put these on here. Same stuff, man. I keep getting a hundred, uh, or yeah, hundred and fifty-two dollars in the woodcutter schematic. Um, and it looks like almost every other bag I check. It's just the weirdest thing. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Anyway, let's just set that there so we have a spawn point here. And then we'll go over here and. And get uh, a couple things upgraded, a couple things fixed, and then we should be good to go. But like I uh, was saying, um, you know, um, it, it's most... What my plan is, is I want to make a... Go back to an explosive design. Um, because we get the most XP from that. And uh, But I want to build something closer to home so we don't have to always keep coming up here for Horde Night. Uh, so that is in the plans. I'm not exactly sure when that's going to happen. But as long as we continue... You know, to use this base, we are, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much going to be the same thing on each Horde Night, with the exception, like I said, is that we are getting uh, more of the super monsters. So uh, I'm just going to kind of be a little more selective, I guess is what I'm trying to say, in how we um, go about, uh, or what I show on camera. Sorry, I'm a little, little distracted here. Let's get all these yahoos out of here. I actually took the, uh, I, I had to repair the shotgun um, with a combined repair, and it brought it down to green, so I lost a mod slot. Uh, but I did keep, I, I decided to take the drum mod off and keep the rad remover on. I mean, we still have 19 shots, for goodness sakes, right? Um, yeah, so, and we're using, as you can see, we're using slugs in the shotgun, too, because uh, of the armor penetration that it provides. Because we are running into, you know, nastier Zeeks. Okay, before we go up above, we're going to have to fight the sleepers on the next floor too, probably. Uh, but what I want to do is I have in my inventory a 70 steel polish that we've looted. All right, so what I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. I'm going to keep this because we need it for um, fertilizer. But uh, what I want to do is I want to upgrade... This, okay, so it takes four to upgrade. Good, okay. So that means we can upgrade all four of these and still have a little bit left over for repairs. I'm not going to upgrade these panels here. They don't take as much damage as these do. Th these are the main things, of course, you know, that are going to take the damage. So let's just get everything else. Well, you know what? These blocks here are so integral to the, this design. I think I'm going to go ahead and make these polished steel as well. I mean, we still have 50 to go, so we're good. 
I got the ones on the other side to do too, of course. The rest of this, we're just going to keep normal steel. Uh, I think we'll be fine with that. I mean, as you can see, it's not hasn't really taken any significant damage. Um, and it's double plated anyways. Well, double plated with concrete on the other side, I should say. And that gets all that repaired. Uh, we just got a little bit of touch up stuff to do on this side. So let's get that done. Uh, oh, also, I have some clips to show you, off camera clips. I'm, I, I know I'm still recording them, but when I say off camera, meaning I'm not recording the episode. Um, you know, if that wasn't obvious already. But anyway, I have a couple of clips to show you. We had a visitor from a very scary monster last night, and then uh, just have a couple of loot things to show you too, including my trader turn in from the asylum uh, quest that we did. So uh, here's those clips now. Congratulations. Here's your reward, sucker. Okay, I got the repairs finished uh, downstairs. Uh, do we need anything off the bike? Uh, let's grab one of these just in case we get infected. In fact, let's just take all of this stuff because you never know, right? You never know. And we can drop off this, this, and this in here. I think everything else we want to keep with us. So, yeah, okay. Let's head on up. Gonna have to, like I said, fight some more sleepers up here. Probably. Alright, let's see if we can quietly dispatch a couple of these. Well, so much for that idea. Damn it. Alright. Round them up. Gather around, everybody. Go in this room. Make sure everybody's out of each room and then come join me in the front room here no runners wow can't believe there's no runners in that group I heard another Zeke oh you oh shit that scared me <laughs> I didn't even know you guys were there Damn! Holy Moses! You're still not still not dead? Son of a bitch! Whew, that scared me. Okay. Well, we have an abrasion to start off the night, and we haven't even started Horde Night yet. Can you believe that? All right. Well, let's um, uh, let's just take a big medikit, as we want to be at full maximum health when this thing starts. Ah, crap. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can put that in there, and that in there, and that. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to take that. We've got brass up the wazoo, man. Okay. We don't need this either. So let's put that there. I need to put a little plate in front of that axe so it's easier for me to get up there. Okay, is everything up here repaired? 
It looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'll just hit those with normal. This roof, <laughs> those buzzers have just annihilated the roof there, but that's okay. That's all right. You know what? I think, uh, oh, those need cobblestone to be upgraded. Really? That's weird. I think I have some cobblestone in here. Uh, we're also going to want the iron. Make sure we have a full stack of steel. Those and those. I don't think we have anything wood. I guess I had some mortar in here too. To do. So, and we have, we have a full stack of concrete. So that should be good. But here, let's hit this. Let's just, whoops, not that. Oh, those were wood. No wonder. Yeah, we want to get this upgraded because, you know, we ha we're having some really nasty boss vultures come in through the top. So we need stuff up here to be pretty stout now, too. Likewise, those were wood, too. So, yeah, um, let's upgrade that. The rest of this up here I'm not really too worried about. And I uh, guess we can hit that. And we should be okay with everything up here. Okay, now uh, we want to get that upgraded to polished steel as well, and then we'll just touch up these in internal blocks, make sure they're at full health. This is all mostly just splash damage from the pipe bombs that I've thrown. And um, oh, that needs screws. Okay, we've got screws. Let's grab those and make sure these are in good shape. And we'll also repair our ladder. Oh, I just upgraded that to steel. I didn't really want to do that, but sometimes it happens. Let's get that upgraded to reinforced. That needs mechanical parts. I want to make sure, of course, our Jenny's in good shape and our uh, relay and all that. Uh, let's check our fence post too. Those are very important to our uh, base design here. And I think we're in pretty darn good shape here. Just a couple more little spots here and we should be good to go. Something, yeah, right down there. Okay, let's check the fuel in here. Uh, it's pretty much full, so we'll turn that on. And uh, the relay should start, uh, alre ha have already started. No, I guess it'll start in 10, 10 in-game minutes, so in about 10 seconds or so. A um, couple more spots here I guess we can hit. All right, let's have a sham chowder. And we'll, yeah, what the hell, we'll have a mineral water too. Get those all topped off, so we're good to go there. And we want to make sure we have these on for maximum XP. Uh, speaking of which, do we have a level? Uh, we do have a, a point. Okay. I think I'm going to sit on that point, though, because I'm trying to get fortitude up to nine. And then with my tough guy sunglasses, I'll have an effect of ten so that we can then get living off the land to five. So that's what I'm working on uh, for skill points. Okay. Uh, so hopefully we get at least one level tonight. You know, the levels don't come uh, really quickly. With, uh, you know what, I've got plenty of steel. I think I'm going to upgrade these panels to, to steel. Not to polish, but just to normal steel. Anyway, um, so hopefully we'll get at least one level. But we don't get a lot of levels, unfortunately, with when we when we melee in this base. But like I said, I'm going to work on getting a, a, new, a new base going uh, soon. You know, where we will be able to start raking in the XP again. I'm just going to get these upgraded to reinforced as well. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're about in as good a shape as we can be. We've upgraded um, our area here to steel, and the real critical blocks have been upgraded to polished steel. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how things go tonight. I'm expecting some pretty nasty, you know, super monsters coming in. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're about in as good a shape as we can be. We've upgraded... Um, our area here to steel and the real critical blocks have been upgraded to polished steel. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how things go tonight. I'm expecting some pretty nasty, you know, super monsters coming in.
All right, it is morning. Uh, we still have the F Diamond Phoenix 666 bird that we're trying to kill here. It's a little bit of out of range, I think, for a shotgun. There, he's dead now. Very, uh, very smooth Horde Knight. Uh, we didn't even get... I mean, we got some we got some bombers, a couple of uh, for the Molotov guys, some pumpkin heads, a couple mummies, but nothing actually real super nasty came in tonight, which was interesting. And uh, I uh, I did not have to repair this polished steel a single time, you guys, not even once. Uh, in fact, the only repairing really I did was just the fence posts. And uh, so yeah, we have a little bit of damage out there on that block, but again, nothing nothing serious at all. Just uh, smooth as butter, man. Smooth as butter. We didn't quite get our our level, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, we might as well wait for all of these guys to come back in, and we'll finish them off from here. And then we'll check the Lutskis. Come on, boys and girls. Got uh, a couple of greenies still to do here. All right, let's uh, blow these ones up. So I have a greenie here. All right, should be pretty close to wrapping them up. Whatever's left, we'll just uh, we'll take on down below. So let's turn that off. Yeah, just super smooth Horde Knight. I mean, it couldn't have gone easier than that, you guys. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go check it out and see. We probably have a couple more that are still cycling back up. Yeah, we got a greenie. Come back out here, dummy. I was going to say, how did that miss? Excellent. Okay. Any bags up here? Nope. Everything is in really, really good condition. You just probably have just a couple little touch-up spots there to deal with. Let's run on down here. I'm going to probably get the rest of this ramp upgraded to, to reinforce concrete, too, before I leave, if I have enough concrete. That way I don't have to worry about cobble anymore. Okay. Let's put our luckies on. Um, you know what, doggone it, I have eye candy, and guess what? I left it back at the base. It's really helpful to me back at the base. Doggone it. <laughs> I can't take me anywhere. All right, well, let's see if we get something good anyway. All right, that's a nice little pile of cash. Rad remover uh, mod, which we already know. Meds and ammo. We already know that, too. Man, we, we need the chest piece and the gloves. What we need uh, for that. Spiked table leg. Oh, look at this. SMG5 schematic. Okay. Um, and that's a pretty nice pistol, too. We can use that to combine repair our red one. It'll probably drop it down to pink. Okay, so that's pretty good loot right there. Um, not bad at all, actually. Spike Table Leg is probably a really super good club. I just don't have any skills in clubs. Um, okay. Yeah, so decent loot. You know, nothing nothing super phantasmagorical, but not too bad either. Not too bad either. Let's just scrap this. Those of you who know me know I don't really care much for those quests. Plus, we get this out of it anyway. Um, I guess we're going to scrap this because I do want to keep this pile of iron for repairs. And everything else, we don't need the jars, we don't need the murky water. I'm just trying to lighten up a little bit because we are a bit on the heavy side here. Uh, we'll throw away that extra five thing, so iron, and I think we're good to go. All right, guys, so like I said, um, I'm planning on, Let's. I'm just going to use the rest of the reinforce that I have and work my way up. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm planning on 
doing just a short edit of this horde night. I'm not going to show the whole thing, so I'm. I think we're going to have more time in this episode. So what I'm going to do is meet you guys back um, at the base, or even um, even at um, uh, our next site. Um, here, let's take those points and let's throw those right on into fortitude. Okay, very good. So we just need we need five more points in total. Well, five more. Yeah, that's three. So five more points in total to get to nine. Then we'll have an effective ten with the tough guy sunglasses. And then we can get into the really, really good farming. Uh, but anyway, I will meet you at wh <clears throat> wherever our next quest location is going to be. See you in a bit. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. Unfucking believable. Well, hell, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Name's not important. What is important is if you have the ball, it's a deal. Disappoint me, and you'll find yourself on the wrong end of a rope. All right, guys, we are back. And um, so, yeah, between yesterday and today, I went around and checked all of the traders, and I showed you some of the footage uh, from that. So we've checked every trader that we've uncovered except for Trader Gen all the way down here in the south. Uh, we took this Tier 4 clear, and we actually have two 
tier force to do, but I don't think we're going to get that to that today. So instead what we're going to do is I'm going to gather up all of the stuff I have uh, to sell and get it repaired. I have a bunch of stuff uh, to sell. I've got all this armor that got to get repaired. I've got just a gob of melee and tool stuff that um, I can go through, repair, and sell. And what I want to do is I show uh, I showed you in the clips that Trader Jin up in the central town uh, back up here, she has the motorcycle chassis for sale, and it's about $9,700, I think, something like that. So I'm pretty sure we can raise that much money um, and then some by selling, you know, everything we have. I even have some guns we could put, you know, sell too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all that stuff together, get it repaired, um, and then go around and, and sell that and go get the motorcycle chassis from Jin. Now, the reason I want the motorcycle chassis is because I can't make it. I, I mean, I know the skill to make it, but I, I didn't, haven't found another crowbar and I'm missing the flat radiator. Uh, and we don't need uh, the handlebars uh, or any of the special pieces for the motorcycle handlebars. So we can make those. Um, oh, actually, no, we need the mechanics table, which we do have the mechanics table. We just haven't set it down yet. Let's actually grab that. And I think that would be appropriate to put in our garage. So let's see, where do we want to put this guy? Uh, I want to leave this open because we are eventually going to uh, bring the 4x4 and actually park it in here. Um, Let's see. I guess what we could do is... I mean, I could remove this stuff. It's kind of cool. But on the other hand, you know, mini bike, motorcycle, 4x, and any other vehicles that we get, we might want to end up parking them all in here. So I think we're going to just take all of this out of here and we'll put the mechanics workstation in here. We could put the armorer's bench in here too. We already have one of those, but we'll pick it up anyway. Um, we don't have working washing machines in the apocalypse here. Uh, we just use the swimming pool to wash our clothes. We make some soap from animal fat. So let's get this stuff picked up here. And uh, this might have to go. Fuse box on the house. We don't have electricity flowing through the house, though we will probably eventually get some jennies going at some point. I want to get some turrets around the wall to deal with the, uh, with the screamers. So that's on the to-do list. Let's get this guy out of the way. We get plenty of cardio running from zombies, so we don't need uh, a treadmill. Uh, we get plenty of of uh, strength workout from swinging our sledgehammer at zombies, so we don't really need a weight machine either. We'll get rid of this. And we'll get rid of the speaker, because there's actually no stereo to hook it to. Okay, I'm going to leave all that stuff over there for now. So what it will, we'll do is we'll put this in the corner. All right, what's blocking it still? Probably the pipe, I'm guessing. All right. Can we wrench these, or... No, I didn't think so. All right, now can we get this in the corner? Beautiful. All right, so for the motorcycle handlebars, uh, we are able to craft those, and they do not require any special weird parts. Um, I don't think we need the tool for it either. You know what? We should confirm this, though. So let's, let's go grab all the stuff that we need. Mechanical, duct, headlight, electrical, parts, wires, and steel. Okay, so we can craft it. Let's just go ahead and craft it, um, since we can. And we've got all the parts many times over. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're just going to raise the money to purchase the chassis, um, you know, from Trader Gin. Because, again, it's this car radiator flat that I'm missing, and I have not seen another crowbar at all. Uh, not since that one really low-quality one that we found a long, long time ago. Uh, so we'll we'll do that, and then, um, like I said, I'm going to get all... I got a few things that are already in here, too, that we can sell, and some stuff I could probably even fix up. And then we're just going to go on a big shopping trip, selling trip, make a whole bunch of coin, buy that chassis, and like I said, I'm sure we'll have uh, more left over, too. Let's deal with this screamer really quick. All right. 
looks like she called in some some more. Okay, and we got a, another screamer over here that we're going to have to deal with. It's funny because sometimes they'll call zombos in um, without screaming. I mean, you don't hear them scream. Let's deal with this other one over here. Where's she at? Damn ferals, man. Okay. Is she like inside the shed there? I want to get her from far away. There she is. Okay. Get a little bit closer here. Looks like we got her. Okay. Now, she did scream. So, sometimes they scream and they don't call any in, and then other times they don't scream and they come anyway. So, it's a little kind of weird how that works. I think we're good, though. All right. Hey, while we're over in this corner of the woods, I also wanted to show you guys uh, the rain catcher for those of you who maybe haven't seen it before. Uh, so, basically, uh, it takes about two days, and then when it's done, it gives you just a random number of murky water, boiled water, and empty water jars. And then to recharge it, you just have to put a tarp down. This would have been so handy in the early game. Um, and the but the problem with that is that you know they've got it locked behind the fourth level of living off the land. So you'd have to really fast track that in the early game to get to this early on when you it's useful. Because right now it's handy, but it's not you know it's not that useful to me now because. You know, I'm already set up to get water and stuff. Uh, whereas earlier on, it would have been very, very useful. So I, I, I'd like to see them make that a little easier to obtain in their earlier game. Uh, but anyway, that's how that works. Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do is we're going to wrap up this episode here uh, because it's about time to do so. I'm going to spend the rest of today, uh, this in-game day. It's day 102, by the way. Can you believe we've been playing this series for 100 days? That's crazy. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to get all the stuff together that I want to sell, get it repaired, and then uh, when we start the next episode, we're going to go uh, sell, we're going to go see South Trader Gen, we're going to sell, and then we're going to run up to Central Trader Gen and get the motorcycle chassis and build the motorcycle. I want the motorcycle because it's faster and it has more storage, so it's just going to be, you know, useful for me to go make my rounds uh, to all the traders, which I'm kind of tentatively planning on doing. Uh, moving forward after every horde night okay uh so guys i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye